The inverse properties of logarithms are log base b of b to the x power equals x and b to the log base b of x equals x. In the first property, b is the base, x is the exponent, and b to the x power is the result. So again, b raised to the x power equals b to the x power. This means that when this base is the same as this base, this exponent is the same as this exponent. Now, in the second property, the base b is raised to the exponent log base b of x, and the result is x. So, when this base is the same as this base, then this result is the same as this result. In the first example, we will evaluate log base 5 of 5 to the second power. Because these two bases are the same, this logarithm will be equal to 2. So, log base 5 of 5 to the second power equals 2. In the second example, we will evaluate log base 4 of 1 over 16. To apply this property, we need to have the same bases. So, if this base is 4, we need to write 1 over 16 as an expression that also has the base 4. For this, we will write 1 over 16 as 4 to the power of negative 2. And this is because 4 to the negative 2 equals 1 over 4 to the positive 2, which is 1 over 16. And now, once this base is the same as this base, then the value of this logarithm will be negative 2. So then, we can say that log base 4 of 1 over 16 equals negative 2. In the next example, we will evaluate log base 7 of 49 to the x power. In this example, these bases are not the same, but we can write 49 as 7 squared. Then we will have log base 7 of 7 squared all to the x power. Now here we will use the power rule for exponents and we will multiply 2 and x. Then we will have log base 7 of 7 to the power of 2x. And now if these two bases are the same, then the value of the logarithm will be 2x. So then we will write the answer 2x. Now let's evaluate a few logarithms using the second property. In the first example, we will evaluate 3 to the power of log base 3 of 9. According to the property above, if this base is the same as this base, then the result will be equal to 9. Then we will write that this expression is equal to 9. And indeed, if here we evaluate this logarithm, then 3 to what power is equal to 9? That would be 2. So the value of this logarithm is equal to 2. Then we can say that 3 to the second power equals 9. In the next example, we will evaluate 10 to the common logarithm of 3. When we see a logarithm that does not show the base, we just need to know that the base is 10. Then once these bases are the same, the result will be equal to 3. Now, in the next example, we will evaluate e to the natural logarithm of 6. The natural logarithm is a logarithm that has the base e. Then, if this is base e and this is also base e, then the result will be 6. Then, we will write that e to the power of natural logarithm of 6 equals 6. Thank you for watching this video and please subscribe to my channel.